Welcome back, everybody. Tom Olson here with my beautiful, wonderful, awesome wife, <laughs> Becky Olson, and we are doing good success tips on having a love, loving, lasting marriage. And um, Becky's been giving all the good tips here, everybody. So each day, I'm going to give a tip, and my wife is going to give a tip. And uh, not that we know it all, and not that we are perfect at every one of these. In fact, we're probably not that perfect. It's just things that we're, we we know we're working we're on every one of these. Definitely not perfect. We're, I mean, I, I mean, this, this half is perfect, right? This half is perfect, but this half is, we still need to work, right? We're a work in progress. We're definitely a work in progress. So, uh, but again, we're not here to tell you that we are perfect at every one of these. We've probably failed at every single one of these um, tips that we are going to give you guys. But we just think that um, there's too much focus on social media and too much focus out there about everything that's negative and everything that's wrong in life and a good success. We want to be a proponent. We want to be pushing people that are doing good things and we want to encourage you so we, we hope this encourages you and challenges you a little bit and it's even challenging us mm -hmm. doing these videos right yep. Beck? yep we definitely challenging <laughs> us to do these videos every single day so um day this is this is day um day five yes day five of the uh good success tips for a loving lasting marriage so i'm gonna go first on today and today is 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 one of those where in, in every single marriage, I don't care. There's never been a marriage that I have, I have talked to people after that they've been married for an extended period of time where there, where there hasn't been a big disappointment. There hasn't been something that you, you know, I talked about last time we manage expectations, but there, there always is something that comes and, and sometimes it's maybe a, a heartbreak. Maybe it's, um, you know, something happens in the marriage where maybe a, maybe a kid dies or, you know, maybe something happens in a marriage where um, a, a spouse, you know, goes off and, 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 and talks to another, another woman or another man and then there, you know, there might be some, some things there that, that are a big disappointment. There may be other things that, that people get involved with. Maybe people end up getting involved in drugs or end up getting involved in other things. Um, there may be, um, you know, a plethora. There's a ton of different ways that there can be, there could be a business failure. Mm -hmm. There, you know, there's, so there's many different ways that um, you could have a, dig, a big disappointment in marriage. But what I can tell you is it's very important that during those times you make an extra special commitment to each other. And um, you, you, both spouses have to, in these times, humble themselves even more so than they normally would and that's what's going to help get you through. It's not going to be I know it all, pumping your chest and saying like, you know, this is you know getting upset about it and going down those trails. What's going to help you get through it is that is giving that other spouse room uh, to be imperfect. And um, and I think a way we can do that in our daily activities is to forgive our spouse fast. Um, so so when. So when Becky doesn't put the toilet seat down, and I'm just like so upset at her that she doesn't put the toilet seat down. Wait, what? Um, I, I have to forgive her very fast. <laughs> and you know, so when, when, when I come home from, from, from hard work and, and my dinner's not on the table, I have to forgive fast. I'm just kidding, guys, just Let's so you guys know about all that. go back to managing all those that. expectations here. <laughs> just so you guys know, I am kidding about all that. But um, I, I think you know where I'm going with that. So, so by helping yourself, put yourself in a habit of forgiving your spouse for the little things that don't really matter and quickly and quickly and and putting those things beside you and um, believing in your spouse I think you know all those things will it will will really help and you know when I think about forgiveness I think about giving them a way out you know Jesus did that for us on the cross he gave us a way out he said father forgive them for they know not what they do that's the way we need to forgive and that's the way we need to be committed um, to our spouse just like Jesus was committed to us on the cross so be committed to your spouse and humble both parties have to be humble during those periods of time you can't have one person that is going off now does this mean that you're supposed to put up with an abusive spouse or you know some an infidelity that's going to continue on and on forever absolutely not and I do definitely I'm not I'm not give a proponent of that whatsoever um, but what I am saying is that when there when there is disappointments and there will be I promise you make that commitment stronger during those periods of time and that commitment needs to stay stay forward and um and a way we can do that if we're not in that right now is to forgive for the little things so becky what is your tip for the day my tip for the day is to give your spouse the benefit of the doubt and this kind of goes perfectly with what tom was talking about many times in marriage 
pretty much all the time in marriage there is going to be um, disappointments, big disappointments, little disappointments. And um, one thing that I know I have greatly struggled with was giving Tom the benefit of the doubt. You know, sometimes, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, me? <laughs> We're being real here. Real here, people. So, yes, um, you know, just I, I'm a firm believer, and I know Tom believes this too, is that, you know, areas that Satan knows that you have uh, struggle, he's just going to constantly attack you there. And this is one area for myself that I know I have that weakness is giving Tom the benefit of the doubt. If he says, oh, I'm going to, you know, be home at 5 or whatever, and maybe he's home at 5.10, and you're like, well, where is he? You know, why did he tell me 5 and he's home at 5.10? I'm greatly exaggerating this, but you can kind of get an idea <laughs> of what I'm talking about. There will be... Um, different scenarios in your marriage where you know that you either have the option to give your spouse the benefit of the doubt or you don't take that option and you go down a different trail in your mind. So that's my tip for the day. You so, want to add anything? No, that, that's, that, that's really good and they kind of go, do go together. So um, another, that's another way to maybe forgive your spouse when you know, there's a little disappointment mm -hmm. and something that maybe not even is a disappointment, but you're making it a disappointment mm -hmm. in your head. Mm -hmm. So it, it even might even prevent that being a disappointment in your head and not even thinking you have to forgive them because you're just giving them the benefit mm -hmm. of the doubt. And, um, you know, I can definitely attest to that as well. You know, and I think everybody can, whether you're a man or woman and either side of the spouse there can definitely work on giving the benefit of the doubt. So awesome. I hope that's going to help you guys for today. I hope that challenges you and gives you some encouragement for today. And we can't wait to see you back here tomorrow for the fifth day. No, tomorrow's the sixth day. Wow. So we are on the sixth day tomorrow of the good success tips for a loving, lasting marriage. I hope you have a good success day.